6 p.m. I'm gonna start getting ready. We're going out for dinner right now. I'm not gonna fucking lie to you, boys. I've, I've got a fucking, I've got a very, very good girl upstairs. Best like dynamic in a relationship I've had so far. Not even close with Anastasia upstairs. She's such a fucking good girl, bro. Holy fuck. She doesn't really want to be on like camera and stuff that much. She gets really shy, but she's such a like. Bro, so, so feminine, so feminine, so supportive and everything. Such a good, bro. holy fuck, man. Like, if you've like, if you've watched my sort of dating history over the last year, you've seen me like, obviously like, you know, this is what I do. This is my work, this is my life and stuff. So if I do end up dating a girl, it's like she automatically does end up, you know, appearing on the YouTube channel and stuff. And some people say like, oh, well, you know, you shouldn't do that. Like you shouldn't be talking about your relationship. But it's like, I talk about everything in, in my life. Do you know what I mean? I've always been so authentic and just deeply explaining all of the ins and outs of my brain because I think that's where like my value lies, where I can give you the true unfiltered experiences. Yeah, she's a really good girl, man. The, the girl I'm with right now. So I'm gonna go take her out to dinner. And she's been cooking every day, bro. She's been cooking like literally the nicest meals, man. Holy fuck, she's a really good cook as well, which is fucking nice, isn't it? It's like the dynamic we have is like, I'll be working and she'll be cooking for me. And she's there with a smile, so happy to just like cook for me and everything. What's she doing right now, bro? She's upstairs watching this fucking live stream. I guarantee she's watching it. <laughs> so fucking supportive. Well, we got better donations as well. I'll go through these donations. Don't send any more boys because I'm, I'm going to end off the, the stream, but I'll go through them all quick. Yama super chatted $10. I'm in the US. How can I get a one-to-one -one session with you? I don't do one-to-one -one sessions anymore, bro. Not to sound like a dickhead, but my, um, my sort of hourly rate is far too expensive to sort of charge people. So I only really do it with like successful entrepreneurs and everything. And I don't like advertise it. I, oh, I've always disliked this man. People get like really hateful towards me when they realize how much I charge per hour to like be a consultant for someone. And so I don't advertise it and I don't really like do it anymore. It's just that if there's like someone who kind of, you know, reaches out to me in, in terms of like, he knows an entrepreneur who I've worked with, then he'll like, for example, I'm, I'm discussing an 80,000 pound deal with an entrepreneur right now for me to kind of like work with him and everything. My rates are just far too expensive to like charge people. So I just don't do that anymore. Sadeep Singh, 499. Do you think it's still best to quit YouTube in general? Do you think it's best for being a better version of yourself? Also, do you speak Punjabi or Urdu? Do I think it's best to quit YouTube? So I've said quit social media. And I've always kind of subtly said like, oh yeah, don't quit YouTube. And perhaps that's my own kind of like bias because I'm a YouTuber and I don't want you to quit or something. But I, I've told you not to watch my videos if they're bad for you. The reason why I, I don't believe YouTube is the same as like TikTok and Instagram because your life can truly change from YouTube. If you're like a proper fan of mine, chances are your, your life has changed drastically. My life has changed very significantly because of one main YouTuber named First Man. And you know, his videos are very inspiring and educational. I watch them and my life changed forever for that. If that's the value that you're getting from YouTube, then continue watching. If you're spending your time on YouTube watching bullshit that's not even helping you, then yeah, quit. So you've got to just find this out for yourself. Ask yourself, maybe journal, what's the ROI of my time on YouTube? And answer that question, honestly. Also, do you speak Punjabi or Urdu? I speak Urdu. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Kaise ho, bye. Abu super chatted another 499. Is there a difference between friendship and brotherhood for you? Yeah, absolutely. I have 50 friends. So friends, like, you know, some people see it in a different way. The way I categorize it is that I have... 50 friends, you know, guys who I'll have a really good conversation with, I've spent time with, I've like went for dinner with, trained with and everything. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Brotherhood is like, I would fucking, I wouldn't be that far from like dying for that man. If like brotherhood is, if he messaged me, like imagine we're in the same area or something, oh, there's, there's some guys following him. I would quite literally run over there right now. And to be honest, I'd probably do that for friends as well. But I would like, I would like take getting stabbed. I would, there's five guys punching my brother, bro. I'm running in there getting, uh, hopefully like trying to fight, but I'll get punched up too. Do you know what I mean? It's, that's brotherhood for me. Friend is like, oh, well, I'll call the police from, uh, to be honest, even with friends, bro, I've, I've probably still, I'm that kind of guy, bro. I'm, if a friend needed my help, bro, I'm still running up. Even if I wasn't like that close to them. Brotherhood is just next level friendship. It's like best friend who you trust. Trust. You're literally like, oh fuck, this is like a guy I'm gonna grow up with and everything. Uh, stop donating, boys. I need to go. <laughs> Eman R super chatted 499. What made you want to start streaming, brother? You can utilize them for more self improvement lessons. Hamza, I'm grateful for you, man. Much love. Thank you, bro. What made me want to start streaming? Honestly, I look up to Sneeko. He he did some fucking major moves, man. I saw him just create a huge level of success for himself, just streaming and talking about sensitive issues and you know just speaking very unfiltered. And I really respect that. So he really inspired me to get started. Aries, the warlord. Rumble, when you get popular enough, grow beard out. I've not looked into Rumble. I'm not too sure why it's popping, right? Obviously, Andrew Tate's on there, but I'm not too sure. Um, I've not looked at like the benefits of being there. Maybe it's worthwhile, but so far, I'm not really thinking it. First man is making his platform, so I'm kind of 
loyal to that. I, I think Rumble is essentially like an alternative, which I like. I don't want to support in a sense, and I'd rather keep my audience just waiting for me. Igor Redek, I am grinding on my business. Should I get a girlfriend or go celebrate for a couple of months and focus on my business? You shouldn't ever ask yourself like, oh, should I get a girlfriend? It's like, no, 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 no. You essentially always stay focused on your business. Always, you always stay focused on your goals, your business and everything. And then if you end up, you know, meeting this girl who really impresses you, who like suddenly your business, your work and everything's getting better because of her, then yeah, keep her in your life. Johnny Beam has super chatted 1790. What do you think about late bloomers? I tend to compare myself to you since we're both 25. How do I combat this? It's not about your age. This is something I've learned from Iman Gatsi. He's a like famous, successful entrepreneur. It's not about your age. It's about how many years you've been productive. So you should only truly like kind of compare yourself. You know, people say never compare yourself and stuff, but you should only compare yourself if the variables are quite similar. And so if, for example, you've been hyper productive for two years and your success in your YouTube channel is not as good as mine, then you could compare and learn from me and, you know, get a little bit pissed off. Okay, why, why is he, um, you know, doing better than me? But age doesn't mean anything. Like, bro, I'm a lot more successful than men of every age. I'm a lot stronger than men of every age. I'm a better man than men of every age. Of course, that doesn't mean I'm the best man or anything, but do you know what I mean? It's like, and there's there's a 16 year old who's a better man than me. There's a 16 year old who makes more money than me. It's not about age. I would say it's about years of doing the right thing. For me, I've been doing the right thing generally for about two years and three months. And in terms of weightlifting, I've been doing that for about eight years. Last few, we've got AFHZY. What's your opinion of Islam as a way of life? I've made videos a while ago saying I respect Islam, I still do. Just something that I've like, I've had such a hindrance, like such a block to be able to, to consider. I, I keep getting thoughts to, to buy like an English version of the Quran and to read it. Hopefully it's like a lot of the, the, um, the holy books are quite hard to read even in English translation, but if it was easy enough to read and you know, understand, it, I think that would be, it would be so much development there for me to look into this. It's so weird that I have such a big block doing that. I've, I've had this thought of, okay, just go onto Instagram and just, just order a, a Quran to your address. And I just don't, I just don't because I, I don't know, maybe it's like facing responsibility, it's facing, you know, there's a, a level of fear involved. There's a level of like hesitation and I just kind of push it off my mind. Then I hear about Islam again and, you know, it pops into my mind six months later, a year, a, a year later, a month later or something. And, you know, I see the three Muslims podcast, they're doing bits as well. And just, oh, you know, you should, like, consider Islam, consider Islam and like, it goes out of my mind fast. So I don't know what that really means, but yeah. Sweet, I'm off boys.